Welcome back. Uh, my name is Derek Asante, and I'm here to bring you another episode that I think will be very, very engaging and also beneficial to you and everyone else that's going to tune in and listen to this. I want to spend a few minutes, not too long today, um, talking about, you know, moving from fear to freedom, right? And this is more of a, a guide, if you want to call it that, embracing vulnerability, right? So I'm going to share with you a few tips. It's not your regular episode, um, but that's what I want to kind of share with you today, some tips on vulnerability. So welcome to today's podcast where you'll be, you know, I'll we'll be discussing that topic that I just mentioned. Now, I also want to sh share a few things about how it relates and impacts us in our daily lives. Okay. Now, I want to tap into an amazing author, a famous author, Brene Brown, right? And she once said, Vulnerability is showing up when you can't control the outcome. Now, this quote reminds us that sometimes we have to take the risk and be vulnerable in order to grow and learn. And that's what today's episode is about. Right. I'll be sharing three tips on how to embrace vulnerability in your own life. Plus, I'll give you a bonus tip to help you take that next step and the first step towards vulnerability. This episode is going to be a short one. But it's going to be a very powerful one. The first tip I'm going to share with you is, you know, for you to accept uncertainty. As Renee Brown said, vulnerability means showing up when you can't control the outcome. This means that you have to be OK with not knowing what will happen next. We have to be willing to take a risk, even if we don't know how things are going to turn out. And this is what life is all about. So if you want to embrace vulnerability, you need to learn how to accept the uncertainty. You cannot anticipate everything and predict everything, but you have to be willing to learn to accept what is uncertain in your path. Now, I'll give you an example. Let's say, you know, you want to ask someone out on a date, but you're afraid of getting rejected. Instead of letting that fear hold you back, try accepting the uncertainty of the situation. I mean, you can go as far as telling yourself, I don't know if this person, you know, is going to say yes or no, but I'm willing to take that risk and see what happens. OK, tip number two, you have to be authentic. I can't stress that enough. When you are vulnerable, you're allowing others to see who you really are. Right. You want them to know who you really are. We're not hiding behind a facade or pretending to be someone we're not. So if you really want to be vulnerable, you need to be authentic. You need to be true to yourself and let others see the real you. That's one of those lessons that, you know, goes a very, very, very long way. And here's a tip that I want to share with you, an example that I want to share with you. Imagine you're in a job interview. A lot of us are working. So, yes, you go to the job interview and you're nervous about presenting the perfect version of yourself. Right. Instead of pretending to be someone you're not, try being yourself. Share your true passions and experiences and let the interviewer see that, you know, this is who you really are. This will not only help you stand out, but it will also allow you to feel more comfortable and confident in your own skin. And that's what being authentic is all about. The third tip, as I promised, is, you know, you practicing self-compassion. Now, a lot of us don't really know what that looks like, and we, we don't even take into account how it can benefit us. Being vulnerable can be very scary and it's OK to feel nervous and uncertain. But instead of beating yourself up for feeling that way, try to be kind to yourself. Right. Give yourself a lot of that self affirmations that tells you that you're OK, you're great. You're doing the best that you can. Now, practice self-compassion by reminding yourself that it's OK to be vulnerable. Right. And that you're doing the best that you can. There's nothing wrong with doing that. So make sure you encourage yourself to, you know, give yourself those affirmations every now and then. OK. And now let's say, you know, you made a mistake at work and you're feeling embarrassed or ashamed. Instead of beating yourself up, try practicing self-compassion. Right. Tell yourself it's OK to make mistakes. Everyone does. And that's true. Right. But the key is learn from that experience and do better the next time around. Right. And the only way to do that is by showing yourself kindness and understanding that you'll be, move, you know, you'll be able to move forward from that situation with a clearer mind and more positive attitude. So 
those are the tips that I promised you. And I also said I was going to offer you maybe a bonus tip. I don't know if I said that, but here's your bonus tip. Right. And so it's, it's a simple one. Start small. Right. Start small. If you're feeling overwhelmed by, you know, the idea of being vulnerable, start very small. Take a small risk and see how it feels. Maybe it's, it's sharing a personal story with a friend or admitting uh, to a mistake at work. Uh, whatever it is, start with something that feels manageable, right? And work your way up from that point. These steps can help you build confidence, comfort with vulnerability, and eventually lead to bigger and more meaningful risks that you can take, right? So start with that. Maybe some small stories that, about yourself that you want to share, that you're comfortable sharing, and, and move from that point on. There you have it, three tips and a bonus tip for you, embracing um, vulnerability in your life. Now, you have to keep in mind that it's all about showing up when you can't control the outcome. That's what you need to remember, right? In the voice of Brene Brown, vulnerability is all about showing up when you cannot control the outcome. It's about taking the risks and being true to yourself. It's about accepting uncertainty, being authentic, and practicing self-compassion. You can become more comfortable with vulnerability when you do these things. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, again, start small and you'll work your way up from there. I want to thank you for taking the time and tuning in, and I'll see you next time. All right? Love, peace, and happiness.